Have you ever wondered about the most beautiful places in Brazil? Well, prepare to be amazed as we embark on a thrilling exploration of this remarkable country. Brazil, a nation known for its festive spirit, vibrant cities, and lush landscapes, is truly a world within itself. Its beauty is as diverse as its people, with an enchanting mix of bustling metropolises, quaint villages, stunning lakes, towering mountains, and awe-inspiring rivers. Brazil's rich history and culture are woven into every corner of its vast landscapes, making it a treasure trove for those who yearn for an immersive travel experience. From the rhythmic beats of samba that echo in the streets of Rio to the serene silence of the Amazon rainforest, Brazil's beauty is a feast for the senses. So are you ready to embark on this adventure? Join us on a journey as we count down the top 10 most beautiful places in Brazil. Starting our countdown at number 10, we explore the heart of Brazil, the Amazon rainforest. This sprawling green haven is the world's largest tropical rainforest, covering more than 2 million square miles. It's not just its size that makes the Amazon remarkable, it's its vital role as the planet's lungs, producing 20% of the world's oxygen. The Amazon is a treasure trove of biodiversity. It's home to an estimated 400 billion individual trees, representing 16,000 species. It's a sanctuary for rare wildlife, from jaguars to pink river dolphins. And let's not forget the thousands of bird species that paint the sky with their vivid hues. But it's not just about the flora and fauna. The Amazon rainforest is steeped in indigenous cultures, each with its own rich tapestry of legends and traditions. A visit to the Amazon is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. At number 9 we find ourselves in Salvador, a city rich in history and culture. Salvador, the heartbeat of Brazil, pulsates with an unmatched Afro-Brazilian energy. This city is a vibrant tapestry of colonial architecture, woven together with the threads of a rich cultural heritage. The city's streets are a living museum, where each cobblestone tells a story of the past. The colonial buildings, painted in a kaleidoscope of colors, stand as a testament to Salvador's historical significance. But it's not just the architecture that takes center stage here. Salvador's music scene is as diverse and lively as the city itself. From the pulsating beats of the Afro-Brazilian drumming to the sultry rhythms of samba, music is the lifeblood of this cultural hub. The city's Afro-Brazilian culture, its music and its architecture come together to create a unique blend that's undeniably Salvador. Salvador is a city that dances to its own unique rhythm. Coming in at number 8, we journey to the Pantanal, the world's largest tropical wetland. Spanning across Brazil, Bolivia, and Paraguay, this unique region is a treasure trove of biodiversity. It's home to a staggering array of wildlife, from the elusive jaguar to the vibrant hyacinth macaw. The best time to visit the Pantanal is during the dry season, from April to October. During this time, the receding waters reveal an extensive network of lagoons, rivers, and marshes, creating a wildlife paradise like no other. There's a multitude of activities for visitors to engage in. Birdwatchers will be in heaven with over a thousand species calling the Pantanal home. And for those who love fishing, there's no place better. With over 250 species of fish, it's an angler's dream. The Pantanal is more than just a place. It's an experience, an adventure. It's a paradise for nature lovers. At number seven, we explore the breathtaking landscapes of the Chapada Diamantina National Park. This gem in the heart of Brazil is a paradise for all nature lovers. The park is crisscrossed with hiking trails that beckon you to explore its diverse and stunning terrain. Imagine embarking on an adventure, where each turn reveals cascading waterfalls, plunging into emerald pools, inviting a refreshing dip after a long hike. The park is also home to a labyrinth of caves, their interiors glistening with crystalline formations, a testament to the slow, persistent artistry of nature over countless years. But it's not just the waterfalls and caves that captivate the visitors. The park is renowned for its unique rock formations. Towering quartzite and sandstone bluffs rise dramatically from the landscape, their jagged peaks creating a striking contrast against the soft, verdant foliage. The Chapada Diamantina National Park is a hiker's dream. One can't help but marvel at the natural beauty that is so abundant here. At number six, we find ourselves in the iconic city of Rio de Janeiro. This bustling metropolis is a symphony of color and life, nestled between towering peaks and sprawling shorelines. Its most recognizable landmark, Christ the Redeemer, stands tall and serene, casting a watchful eye over the city from atop the Corcovado Mountain. 
This awe-inspiring statue is a testament to the city's deep spiritual roots and artistic prowess. Next, we have the Sugarloaf Mountain, a monolith of quartz and granite that offers breathtaking views of Rio's urban sprawl and the endless blue of the Atlantic Ocean. A cable car ride to the top is an experience not to be missed. And who could forget about the world-renowned Copacabana Beach? Its golden sands and vibrant beach culture are the heartbeat of Rio, pulsing with energy day and night. But the city truly comes alive during its annual carnival, a kaleidoscope of music, dance, and costumes that encapsulates the Brazilian zest for life. Rio de Janeiro is a city that knows how to celebrate life. Halfway through our countdown at number 5, we visit the paradise island of Fernando de Noronha. This blissful haven is a true spectacle of nature's grandeur. Imagine yourself strolling along the island's pristine beaches, the soft white sand caressing your feet, the sun's kiss warming your skin, the crystal clear waters, a dazzling palette of blues and greens is a treat to the eyes. But that's not all. Dive into this aquatic wonderland and you're in for a surprise. From playful dolphins to the majestic sea turtles, the rich marine life here is nothing short of spectacular. Then there are the coral reefs, a vibrant underwater city teeming with countless species of fish. It's a world in itself, waiting to be explored. And at the end of the day, what could be more magical than watching the sun set over this island paradise? Fernando de Noronha is a slice of heaven on earth. At number four, we travel back in time to the historic city of Ouro Preto. This gem of a city, tucked away in the mountains of Minas Gerais, is a treasure trove of colonial architecture. With its cobblestone streets lined with ornate churches and grand mansions, it's no wonder Ouro Preto has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Imagine walking down these quaint streets, each turn revealing another architectural marvel from a bygone era. The city's name, meaning black gold, harks back to its significance during the gold rush. It was here that the dream of El Dorado came alive, with gold flowing through the veins of the city. But it's not just the gold that makes Ouro Preto shine, it's the sense of stepping into a living history book, where every stone and corner whisper tales of a vibrant past. The city's Baroque architecture, the ornate churches, the grand mansions, they all tell a story. Ouro Preto is a living museum of Brazil's colonial past. At number three, we find ourselves captivated by the sheer power of the Iguazu Falls. This colossal waterfall system straddles the border of Brazil and Argentina, a truly international spectacle. The falls are larger and wider than Niagara Falls and taller than Victoria Falls, making them one of the most impressive cascades on Earth. The surrounding Iguazu National Park is a lush paradise, teeming with diverse wildlife and verdant vegetation. The park is a World Heritage Site, recognized for its astounding biodiversity. Here, jaguars prowl, parrots squawk, and butterflies flutter, adding to the vibrant tapestry of life that surrounds the falls. The roar of the falls is the heart of the park, a constant reminder of the immense power of nature. The misty air, the rainbow arcs, the thunderous sound, all contribute to a sensory experience that's utterly mesmerizing. Iguazu Falls is a testament to the raw power and beauty of nature. Almost at the top of our countdown at number two, we explore the Pantanal Wetlands, this extraordinary location is the world's largest tropical wetland and it's right here in Brazil. It covers a staggering 75,000 square miles, roughly the size of the United Kingdom. The Pantanal is a veritable Eden, teeming with life in every conceivable form. It's the ultimate hotspot for biodiversity, boasting over a thousand bird species and an impressive array of mammals, including the renowned Pantanal jaguar. This big cat is a symbol of the Pantanal, and seeing one in its natural habitat is a truly unforgettable experience. The best time to visit the Pantanal wetlands? Well, it depends on what you want to see. If you're after birds and landscapes, the dry season from May to September is your best bet. But if you're here for the aquatic life, the wet season from October to April is when the wetlands truly come alive. The Pantanal wetlands is a wildlife enthusiast's dream. And finally, at number one, we find ourselves awestruck by the mighty Amazon River. Stretching over 4,000 miles, it is not only the longest river in Brazil, but also holds the title of the second longest river in the world. This colossal river is the heart of the Amazon rainforest, providing a vital artery for the transport of water and nutrients, supporting an unimaginable array of wildlife. The Amazon River is not just a water course, it's a lifeline, a livelihood, and a home for many communities that reside along its banks. 
these communities have adapted to the river's rhythm, building their lives around its ebb and flow. They rely on the river for transportation, food, and even for their cultural practices. The Amazon River with its vast expanse, its rich biodiversity, and the vibrant communities it sustains is truly the lifeblood of Brazil. It's a remarkable testament to the country's natural beauty.